Good morning and welcome to Pause for this week. I wonder, did you manage to get a break over the summer period? I hope you did, and that it was good with some decent weather. Pauline and I went to the West Midlands in August, and I was privileged to spend some time with our two oldest grandchildren. And while we did that, Pauline went off with their parents on a narrow boat. I had a wonderful week with Ollie and Evie, and one of the places we particularly enjoyed was the Black Country Living Museum in Dudley, which is near Birmingham. Two of the special things we experienced there were a talk from a miner about his experiences down a coal mine. But we also went on the trip on the canal tunnels underneath Dudley. And that was one which had been used by miners. And what struck me about this was just how dark it can be when you're underground. It was so dark that you couldn't even see your hand in front of your face. And as we went down the canal tunnels, we got some feeling of what these miners must have gone through. And when the guide pointed out to us, look, there's light at the end of the tunnel. It was a relief to know that we were soon going to be back out into the open. And it's amazing to see just how the smallest amount of lights can break the darkness so we can see where we are going. Jesus knew about darkness in our world and so in John 8 verse 12 he says I am the light of the world whoever follows me will have the light of life and will never walk in darkness so often we think we have to do things on our own, don't we? In our own strength, we no one to help. But Jesus says that he will be there to guide us and walk with us, that we can draw from his guidance and his strength, and he will bring light into our situation and wisdom. All we have to do is make sure that we spend time with him each day and then reach out in faith. There's been many challenges in my life, many changes. And I remember very vividly how God led me out of the bank where I worked for 20 odd years to work with the homeless. Every year of this work was very special. But sadly, it's now coming to an end and COVID has been the cause of that really. But now, I can see new opportunities in working in the local community and they bring me hope and encouragement because I know God is still going to be with me and I look forward to what God will unfold in the future. However, the illustration of light is not just about us and where we're going. Jesus challenges us to bring God's light and love to other people. In Matthew 5 verses 14 to 16, Jesus says, You are like lights for the whole world. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a bowl. Instead, he puts it on the lampstand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, your lights must shine before people so that they will see the good things you do and praise your Father in heaven. When we become Christians, we receive God's Holy Spirit and we allow him to lead us each day. And this should make a real difference to the way we are as people. We will want to place other people before ourselves. We will want to show them something of the love of God. We will want to tell them about Jesus and how they too can experience his light and love. In 2 Corinthians 2 verses 14 to 17, Paul tells us that we should be like a sweet smelling fragrance to those around us. 
if we are ready to listen and encourage and forgive and support, then we will radiate God's light and his love. But I ask you a question. Do people outside the church actually know that you are a Christian? If they don't, I suggest that that needs to be corrected. Because we all need to live openly as Christians wherever we are. And of course there are going to be times when things will not be easy. We will get things wrong, we will be depressed, we will be negative, and sometimes we'll give off the wrong vibes that God wouldn't wish us to. And if that becomes our situation, well let's spend some more time with our Lord Jesus in prayer, in Bible reading, and in regular fellowship with other Christians. Let's find the light of Jesus afresh so we can be a good witness as his disciple. Mm-hmm.